Friends, welcome to Preview, where friends don't let friends review movies alone. I'm uh, Edo. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react review, and at the end we're going to rate the brand new fourth edition of the best action sequence movie thing that I've ever seen, <coughs> John Wick 4. Action sequence, the movie. It's, I mean, this movie is close to three hours long. Yeah. There's maybe... 45 minutes of that is plot. I yeah, and I think <laughs> I think John has like eight lines in it. It's he doesn't speak a lot. That's fine. Yeah, oh, he doesn't need to. Doesn't need to. So here's the thing, guys. Uh I've seen all of the films. Jay hasn't. Y'all, okay. This was his first John guys, Wick movie. This was a surprise to a lot of people. It's one of those okay. I had never seen a John Wick movie. I had seen, like, sequences on YouTube. I, I knew enough about the film franchise to make a reference. And the John Wick franchise just became... It became one of those things... I'm sure we even said it on the channel, talking about seeing these movies. Got It's just one of those things where it's like... You know, sometimes there's those movie franchises where people bring it up in, like, in conversation mm -hmm. when you're, like, out and about or at a party or something. And it's just... Sometimes it's just easier to be like, yeah, man, that movie rules. And then we talk, start talking about something else. Because if I were to be like, yeah, I've never seen John Wick, I'm going to be like, you've never seen G. Well, we got a bull. It's like, I just don't. If I just go, yeah, man, it was cool when he killed all those folks. And they go, yeah. And we high five and we talk about, start talking about something else. So I'd never, I've never seen John Wick movie at all. Um, it makes sense. Um, yeah. And so, and this was my first John Wick experience in John Wick 4. Mm hmm. And as someone who truly had never, didn't totally understand all of the references, still kicked ass. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, like, you know, it's the kind of thing where it was like, I knew enough of the references to be like, ah, okay, there's the dog thing, oh, the pencil, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm like, oh, the, the bad guys, are, it's, a, it's the assassination pope, and he's mad, <laughs> and, and, and you better not cross him or he'll sure. get you, yeah. and we got to go get him. All right, I'm in, let's go. Woo! So, yeah, it was, yeah, it, it kicks a staggering amount of butt. Uh, I had a great time. Yeah, the movies, this is the best John Wick film. Uh, everything you've been seeing online, everyone else saying it, all the reviews and stuff like that. Yeah, this movie is close to three hours long. Yes. I, for me personally, didn't feel like it. Did it, how did it, did it feel long to you? This movie to me felt 20 minutes too long. Okay. Uh, but here's the thing. The, the length comes from the action sequences. Yes. They are yes. very long. Yes. They have some plot. And, oh, by the way, this, we're in the North Spoiler section. There is some plot, and then action happens. And, and then a, some plot. And then, a, but it's a lot of action. Yes. There's so many guys. Yes. They go through. But it's, like, this is, like, these, it seems like that in this fourth installment, which is the word I was trying to come up with earlier in, in, in this video, that they're like, you know by far, Lionsgate, that this movie's going to make a lot of money. The yeah. first three are very good. But... This one's going to be amazing. Give us all the money, please. And they did. So, they're like, we're going to take our time with these action sequences. It is meticulously laid out. The, the shots are amazing. The stunts are, are incredible. Some, there are some nutty stunts, and there are some nutty shots. We'll, we'll talk about that in the spoiler section, but, like, there are some... There are some action sequences that I was like, I have never seen any, anything close to like this before. Ever. It's blowing my gourd a little mm -hmm, bit. Mm -hmm. I will say, my only complaint about John Wick 4 is that, some of, yeah, some of the, the fight sequences are amazing. The, chore, the choreography is, it's the kind of thing where I was like, I want to see this movie again because there's stuff that I'm missing that I know I'll catch on another go-around. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of nuance to it. It's frantic, it's crazy, but it's also like, Oh, these guys like really know what they're doing. Yes. And it's incredible. Some of the fight sequences, John Wick takes out so many guys. And not easily. A lot no. of these guys go down. It's a, They go down hard. Mm -hmm. it, but it gets to a point where me as an audience member, I go, I don't care if he's the best assassin in the world. Sure. We are dealing with sim the simple science of like, of a fall human's, damage, of fall damage, yeah. but also just like 
human physiology that I was like, I don't believe... I, you're telling me John Wick killed an entire an entire football team and i'm talking the bench <laughs> yes. i'm talking cheerleaders yeah, yeah. i'm talking the i'm entire talking entire organization every, i'm yes. talking all the all the, <laughs> the reporters on the on the sidelines oh my god everybody no, he's no. taking out every, and it's like oh man and he and he's really having to kill it like it's not just like oh boop you're dead it's like like oh no like he's like jumping and just it's it's nuts and it's awesome but at a certain point i was like i don't believe that after like the fifteenth dude, he had to like <laughs> strong arm to death. Yeah. I don't believe he's like it's nap time. <laughs> it's nap time. Like it's nap time for John Wick. I can't. I can't. Like it's a kind of thing. Like, I'm like I don't. It's a stamina issue. It's a stamina issue. Like clearly, he's, that that's been like the stat he's been dumping everything into. Because <laughs> yeah, like crazy. wow, there's some constitution checks here that I'm like I don't think. Like, I would, man, if I killed three of those dudes with nunchucks, I would sleep for a whole weekend. Like, it, those nunchucks, though, were pretty good. Yes, they were. Um, yeah, and I, from, from no, not knowing the, th- not knowing the franchise, but knowing, like, a lot of the references and some of the fights mm-hmm. and other scenes, I, they they weren't, the, a lot of these fights weren't as gimmicky as I anticipated them being. Oh, okay. Because, like, you know, I knew that, like, yeah, he kills those dudes with a pencil. Like, Sure. That's gimmicky as all get out. Okay. There wasn't sure. quite a ton of that. No. In this, no, no. which was fine, but for someone who had never seen the movie, before, mm-hmm. these movies before, I anticipated it. It was like a little bit more like, it was more norm core than I anticipated. Yes. Whereas in some action sequences, this is like, oh, there's, you know, low gravity or, you know, it's part of a dream sequence. So, the, you know, they're going to gimbal. So, the, you know, the room's rotating. You know, that's the kind of like the, you know, the, the, the coolness of the scene is like the environment in which they're fighting in. And the way that it's shot. Yes. All this is just like, no, this is just straight up people fighting yeah. in, in rooms and on staircases and in, in, in art galleries just yeah. beating the a... absolute oh. crap out of each oh, other. Yeah. I, and also like... The fact that he doesn't have like bruises all over his body and is fine, like I, as an audience member, I just I'm like, look, in Die, it's I, I compare it to Die Hard because sure. I, I feel like we're we're talking. This is like Mount Rushmore of action movies. Yes, in Die Hard, in the Die Hard franchise, like I feel like he does a similar amount of butt kicking, but like that's the thing about Die Hard is that you see it on him. Sure, like yeah, he's doing some wild stuff, but also at the end of the movie, he's like. I barely made it. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. I'm covered in blood. Hi. Like, when John Wick is like, ah, I got, oh, a new suit. Thank you very much. Boop, boop, boop. Like, even it was just like he was wearing long sleeves after getting that thing burned into his arm. And I was like, ah, I can't. I like leaned around and was like, I don't believe he's wearing long sleeves. I was like, you'd have to have a roll-up situation. Sure. That was a third degree burn in a major way. Ow, 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 ow. I, I think, yeah. I Long and the short of it, this movie was incredible. I just think there was the one fight in the middle in particular on the one little story beat that I think just made it feel a little overlong for me personally. That fight went a little long. I the the waterfall that. scene? Yes. I'll be totally honest with you. I fell asleep a couple times during it and I woke up and I went, ah, they're still fighting. Because, that, because you know, that's what happens. Do you even want me to admit that? No, it's fine. <laughs> it, was, it, it was an incredible scene. It was awesome. It was awesome. But I was like, but I, I was start. I guess think I was just starting to feel the fatigue. <laughs> yes, you were trying. And also, to, dude, those Dolby were, seats, man, are so. Nice, oh man, yes. you're just so good. Yes. I was just like, oh, the water. Look at the waterfall. Oh yeah. Oh, we're still fighting. We're still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one running? Oh Everyone should God. be running. No, oh they're my dancing. God. They're just dancing. It's they're all good. They're still dancing. <laughs> So, Jay, would you recommend to people who have never seen a John Wick film before to see this movie? Bruh, go. It's good. It's good. It's, this is like a, this is a go with your buddies, uh, get a, get a burger, get a couple of beers in you, and go watch this movie. And maybe you'll fall asleep during a waterfall fight. But that's fine. You sleep off the beer a little bit and you wake back up and, and they're still there's, fighting. There's so many more fights to you go. You can go in like three beers deep and just have a little, just a little, little bit, a little, oh, oh yeah, okay. Oh no, <laughs> the man with the legs on the stairs. That, <laughs> wow, I will never, that's not a spoiler. You don't, even, you don't even know the half of it. That sucked. I hated it. That, any like little snoozies I had after that, I don't know what, I'm away, I'm up. <laughs> Oh God! Oh my God! 
Ow! This is this is one of the best action movies I've ever seen. In my yeah, life. dude. Seriously, this is one of the best action movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. I cannot wait to go see it again. It was so. <laughs> I kind of want to see it again. Yeah. Uh, so I don't see, see movies. It. I don't normally go again unless it's like a Marvel thing. I don't go again. Yeah. I really don't. Makes sense. Uh, okay, spoiler section. Not that. Just uh, this is basically going to be like details about the fight scenes. Cause Spoilers. Because like, like you know, plot wise, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Actually, that's the, one of the the best things about these movies. These are very very simple plots. You're just hanging um, incredible yeah. fight scenes off of. And that dude fell on the stairs. That dude broke both of his shins. Scott, that was Scott Atkins. Yeah. Uh, uh, famous stunt guy. But I think when we <laughs> just. <laughs> Oh, Look, I've gotten to an oh. age where sometimes Shaboy just gets a little sleepy. Sometimes, sure. and I think it's just, and, I, and I'm starting to realize sometimes it's more on the on the pro, on the property than it is on old old uh, Jay Schmidt. Um, yeah, I just I think if you cut out the him having to go prove himself in order to get back into the family, I think you streamline that movie a lot. I, I think if you just shorten that scene, yes, have a fight scene between him and Scott Atkins I'm gonna, is one thing. But like they, they they you know the poker stuff everyone. Being I'm gonna be there. honest with you. I was I thought it was just gonna be a poker match. Yeah, so did I. And that's how they were gonna solve it. Yeah. And I I, I was thrilled about it. I was like, this is dope. I because was like, they're gonna cool. mix it up. Let's have like let's have the same level of fight choreography, but like through dialogue in a poker game. Mm -hmm. Like that's a fun little switch. And then I was like, no, we're gonna have to break both of these dudes' shins. <laughs> I did not like that. Anyways, so okay, best 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 kill in the movie. Best kill in the movie? Yeah. Oh man. This that's that's a I mean, Scott Atkins falling off, he kicking him over the thing and then falling out of the stair and then like cuz his neck hit the, I that had to have been graphics cuz like it he his head the neck at an angle and just, I did not. He just kind of, I mean, his he accordion not, in the back, and then his, but is, then he was just like, like, good job, Scott, of just holding that fan. Uh, like it was, ooh, ooh, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was because it, it was the sound. It was the sound. Who? Yeah, I already Ooh. know which one, which my favorite one is. Okay. Because I think if. The one thing that I really appreciate about John Wick, and as I'm learning like how these movies are made, it was there was not a lot of gimmicks from a combat perspective. I mean, they were giving them nunchucks and stuff. That was awesome. Sure. But the way some of these things are shot are like revolutionary in a way that I wasn't anticipating. Them fighting in the the thoroughfare Arc around the the Arc de Triomphe was. Truly insane. I don't know how they got a lot of those shots. I don't know how they did a lot of that stuff. Like, the, the prep alone for that kind of scene and not actually get, getting some people killed yeah. is truly insane to me. That was bananas. I, oh, sorry, just to jump in here real quick. I, I have watched so much Corridor Crew since oh, the previous movie, and there's about, a lot of... About how they do stuff? Well, there's, yeah, about, there's, because they have, like, CG stuff and, like, stuntmen. Yeah, and Scott Atkins is was and they have like other you know Marvel stunt guys and stuff like that come on and women to be like this is how we do the stunts and like yeah. oh my god and they they talked specifically about what makes a good stunt or a good action sequence yeah. it's when they have the camera crew involved yes in the the choreography mm -hmm. so the cameraman is a, a player in where we percent. are go and, and you it can was tell. yes because like I the breakdown of. Were they shooting on location in Paris, at least, you know, for, for a little bit of it? Where were they shooting, you know, just the, probably on a, you know, in, in a much safer studio type of thing? But where were they melding these cars coming in and just sliding into a fool yeah. and then just like, Because that's, yep. that's probably the hard, the, like, the hardest sequence of the entire movie, but they made it look really easy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, that's the kind of thing where I was like, oh, this, th this is really seamless. And, like, I, I think you could kind of easily overlook this scene, but this is in truly insane. Like, they deserve... Like, he casually almost gets hit by, like, four or five cars. I mean, the, the amount of people getting... Just the amount of people getting hit by cars and motor vehicles of... <laughs> but again... <laughs> bicycles. But again... Motorcycles. John Wick gets hit by, like, three cars, and he's like... All right, time to keep killing. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't... I, I just... Every once in a while, I want to see John Wick go... 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I take, just, a, I take just, a second wind action. Just, second wind. Yeah. Ooh, just once. And I feel like every, all the bad guys will be like, I mean, yeah, just get hit by a car. Like, give him a sec. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, uh, 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 time out. Time out. Orange wedges. Ooh. Yeah, there should be some orange wedges at some point. But I, I think we all know what the best, the best part of the movie, and I think the thing that people will be continuing to talk about from an action movie perspective. Mm-hmm. The moment when he gets the the dragon's breath shotgun. Yes. And we have a normal action sequence in what seems to be like a normal, practical, mm-hmm. like just right, you know, eye level where the location. Yep, yep. We're in like we're in this mansion. Cool. We're gonna ha- we have to fight our way out. All these people are trying to kill me. Let's let's party. And then there's a couple of shots, and then the, the camera, it, who is right here just slowly starts tilting up and then we get the fight scene from top down and the walls are very clearly like there's nothing on top of them the ceiling moves out and he is just it and just the the shots of him just like just both murking dudes and also lighting them on fire at the same time yes it's like one of the most evocative fight scenes I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, I don't think, like, it's like truly one of those moments where I was like, I've been on the edge of my seat this entire time. This is, and not because like, I'm worried he's going to get killed. I was like, this is, no, was, yeah. this is a masterpiece of, of action movie editing and, and shot comp. Yes. I, I can't even. Well, it's the first time in, I, be, I believe it's the first time in the series that Dragon's Breath shotguns have been brought in. Because sure. at this point, like, you know, everyone's got the, well, a lot of people have the Kevlar suits. Yeah. So, they, you know, they go in, they keep, you know, they block and stuff. It took me a while to figure out that that's... <laughs> that's what they were doing. Like, why do they keep pulling up their bu- coats like a bunch of weirdos? Blocking bullets. Also, John Wick's been shot like a uh, bunch of times. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, it's a suit. Yeah. It's a good suit. Because it makes sense that they would, to, to, to in order to get around that, bring fire <laughs> to the fight... So they could burn the suits. And so you see the guys in the montage before. It's like, ah, dragon's breath. This is going to be good. We're going to get around that suit. And then it Bruh. gets turned on him. Bruh. And that shot's a one Yes. It's a one-shot for yes. a while. And for a then, while. It, and, then... And you get far enough out that you see people moving through the other rooms. And you see the large sweeping choreography. Because, mm-hmm. like, there's people moving in that, like, he doesn't even know are there yet. And it's just like... This is absolutely blowing my mind. And then the guy, uh, Mr. Nobody with his dog shows up for a little bit. They cut the wonder to see him do a little thing to get involved. You know he's they around. They did a very, very good job of interjecting a character simply because the guy owned a dog. They made him interesting enough. Mm-hmm. But like as we were walking out, I was like, did that guy just exist so he had a dog? So we could have like a, we could have like a dog moment? And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So we don't know that guy at all? And we still don't know how he was able to uh, track John. You know, I had a moment when I was watching this movie and I was like, you know, we work really hard at our channel and we work really hard at make, bringing you guys the best content we can. And we really, we, you know, we really don't take this for granted and we work really hard and we're tired a lot of the time. But like, you know what is not a part of our job? At no point does someone stab me in my hand. And asked me to pull my hand off of it mm-hmm. to show fealty to previewed. That's. I mean, I could. Do you want? Do you want to? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I'm saying that's kind of a yeah. perk of. Because only job. a coward to pull the knife out. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 That's uh. That, e. I've that man, and they and they they made it. They, they had us sit there for a while. <laughs> that was a good beat of a just. While. And then he's just like, "Well, back to work." I was like, "Fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, no." Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I quit. <laughs> like, look, I think they're hiring at, at uh, Costco. I heard they give good benefits. Like, I'm just going to go be a cashier. Screw it. Screw it. Uh-uh. But also just giving him, giving him just sitting on the bench, drinking that beer, and just kind of like laughing at stuff. I was like, I was like, this character it was it was developed an, just enough that it needed to be. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. I mean, he was us at the end. Just, yes. just like, <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Ha-ha. <laughs> To, John didn't shoot. I was like, because I, I was like, man, they get to that final duel, and just like, I don't know how they're gonna get out. Oh man, they both shot each other twice. And I was like, I don't, I, how? Are, I don't know how they're gonna get out. Oh, he did because they did such a good job of setting it up. Because you hear the ba boom, ba boom, boom. I, I will say, I will recommend people go see this in Dolby. 
because, like like we mentioned in other, like we mentioned during Shazam, I want I think we should see everything though, like because this man those sound effects just get right up in your butthole, like you feel them you feel them in your nards, like yeah, it's it, like when it first started and he was punching the thing and we both went Ooh. oh this is loud oh whoa 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 <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Yeah, but, man, but, like, I, I knew I was going to be in good shape with this movie when, like, in the first, like, ten minutes, it was, like, it was just Lawrence Fishburne showing up with the suit and being, like, you ready to go? And then he's, like, just, like, chasing these dudes in the desert, and then it's just, like, I'm uh, I'm the bad, the big bad guy. You'll never be free. Oh, and he gets murdered. I was, like, eh. yeah, this movie is just, like, yeah, well, come watch me get revenge for reasons. Awesome. Fun. Yeah. Lore, I guess, real quick on the plot, this was a lot easier to follow than the last one. Because last one was a little, a little slightly confusing as to why he had to go to the desert and like the guy, like the the the, the lordy guy over the high table, and it was and then get, getting betrayed. This was like, no, 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 we're just gonna kill everybody. No. Yeah. Okay, we'll just settle the debt with a high table, and then I'll be free. Cool. Okay, it, it, it was a lot. It was a lot simpler. And they also explained the marquee like pretty efficiently. Yes. And they... for someone that didn't really know what the high table was, I was like, I feel like I understood. Mm -hmm. Um, it was just like, hey, this guy basically is kind of took over a little bit and uh he's kind of their guy and then but also uh Sarsgar did a very good job of presenting us a villain who was extraordinarily scary extraordinarily capable but as things started to unravel it was very interesting there was a lot of nuance to his character and like and people being like hey like you know all you are also under the table on this Mm -hmm. Like, if this doesn't go well for you, like, you're also boned. And watching him kind of slowly realize that and unravel a little mm -hmm. bit, and that, like, small little moment of hubris towards the end, was just, like... And I, it's one thing I appreciated about this movie is because when they got finally got to the duel, I was like, I don't know how this is going to end. Yeah, I have no idea how it's going to end. I was like, I don't know how we get out of this one. Because they did such a good job of making sure that uh, the other uh, assassins were, like, not bad guys. Like, they knew they were chasing John. Yeah. But, like, they're not bad. No. They're not antagonists. They're just along with the story. Yeah. They're trying to... Yeah, and as Kane is, like, was re was a really fun... That was... Yeah. That staircase scene, after after all of this stuff in the mansion, chase, getting chased by cars in the mansion, and he's like, all right, I gotta get up these stairs in a couple of minutes, and then just working his way up the stairs, and then I, I need to know... If the fall down the stairs when he gets kicked down the stairs, if that was a practical stunt, because that stunt man did a marvelous job was, making sure his feet did not get caught in the railing, because he he went for it. It was when Keanu Reeves fell all the way down those stairs and then had to go up them again. That that was like the, for me the final straw where I was like, you're telling me he. You've got you. There, there's got to be a shot of him being like, oh, woof. okay, oh my knees, oh boy. <clears throat> I fell out of a three-story building and landed kind of on a car. Kind of on a car. Oh, <laughs> Mostly on cobblestone. But like when he had to go back, that's when I was like, I don't believe he can make it back up those stairs. I don't believe his body is capable. Of making it all the way up those stairs. Maybe not his body, but his his will was. Yeah. And then Donnie Yen showed up, and he was like, "Now let's go stab some guys together." Dude. Stab, 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 stab. Oh God. That. He man, Yen is. He is so casually. Absolutely wonderful at kung fu. He makes it look so easy. Mm -hmm. He makes it like his whole performance. I was like. Not only do I believe that this dude is completely blind, but like, I like thir like all of the things that he did in order to like give himself the, the advantage. Like I was like, but also like, some of this choreo is is very intricate and very subtle, and he makes it look so easy. It's it's such a it's a pleasure watching him mm -hmm. absolutely body fools, and his sword is really cool <laughs> that's the coolest cane sword in all of cane swords wow. i think we can agree okay you know what i mean that's great yeah all right so two last questions what's up one do you think john's actually dead because which i which i'll be honest i was 
very surprised they ended the movie like that. And there was no little tease of just like, oh no, he's somewhere else. No, no. For all intents and purposes, John Wick's dead can at the I, end of this movie. Can I be totally honest with you? Yeah. Um, I part from a storytelling perspective, I don't think he can be. There's no way. I think. I think them sh- like them having them having a gravestone for him is just acknowledging that like he's free from the table Mm -hmm. and uh he's free to like do what he wants to do um so i don't i don't i hope not but also this movie like there was so much action in this movie that i was exhausted as an audience member (laughs) that i was like i hope john wick's dead because (laughs) You're telling me that these all these stunt guys are going to be like, get the phone call like John Wick 5, and look, they need the insurance. They're going to say yes. And who doesn't want to work on a John Wick movie? They're going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, stairs guy's going to be like, I fell down a thousand stairs for this movie. And that guy that fell down the escalator, I was like, that's just a casual little shot. Oh, yeah. I was like, that is not a, that is not an easy stunt. And I know he's got all the gear on, but still, falling down an escalator? Like, again, again, our, you know, we it, sometimes we think our job's hard, and then I'm like, you know what I don't have to do today? Fall down an escalator. <laughs> so, like... Just so everyone can get a good night's rest and just like maybe chill for a little while. Yeah, I hope John Wick's dead. <laughs> well, there's going to be spin-off films in the John, in the in the universe because this thing is just Look, it's too I, good. And honestly, that's what I think I'm more interested in. Because the one thing that really appealed to me about this movie and as and honestly, I've gone into some, like some Wikipedia rabbit holes ever since seeing this movie because oh, okay. it kind of got under my skin in yeah, a good way. Yeah, in a great way, yeah. But I was like the world building of the uh, like the world they have built in John Wick mm-hmm. is really really fun. And it's like theme like it's all of the 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 hotels, but like I want to live here more. I want to hear see more stories about like because here's the thing, like, John Wick may be done with the table, but the table's not done. Mm-hmm. You know what well, I'm saying? We haven't really truly met most of the table yet, either. So, so like, like, there's still places to go with this, I you think know? we can expand this universe into, in a way that I I will show up every single time. Yeah. Doesn't ha- like, look, Keanu is, it, from an, he, he's, as far as action movie stars go, he's the GOAT. Sure. I think he's the GOAT. What, I think you can make an argument for Bruce Willis and Die Hard. But I, I, Keanu's the go. There's there's no fighting it. But that but I also would love to see some other. There we we have some up and coming action stars that I would love to see kind of maybe take this on a little bit. Sure. You know, there's lots of places to go. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. Did Donnie Yen die at the end of the movie? There's uh, at, I, the, I, at the very very I, end. Absolutely. You think he died? You think he died? I think that I think that's how it has to go. I think. I think if he wasn't dead, we'd get more of that scene. Oh. I think it has to be a tragedy. It's the tragedy of... Of working for the high table? Yes. Of office life as an assassin? Yeah, just like the, the, the revenge window keeps rotating. Why well, she had a knife and shouldn't go for the bow and arrow. Dude. I knew we were in for a wild ride when she pinned those three dudes to the wall. Like, it wasn't just like, enjoy your air. It was like, boom! It was like, oh no! <laughs> Goo! When the guy, the one specifically that I'm thinking of is when the guy is, his knee is pinned and then he dies and then slumps and spins on the arrow in the wall. Yeah. That's just, how, 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 how? Did you do that? It's cause it's so, it's so like, it's simple tricks but so they're so visceral because it's like, oh, he's got an arrow in the middle and his joint, yeah. and he's just like, Meh, and he's just sweet. Go, man! <laughs> Go! <laughs> yeah. Hot uh, damn. This movie's fan. I really, I cannot wait to see this movie. It's again. a wild ride. It's, it's a like, very, very good movie. Yeah. This is truly really one of the best action movies. I think a lot of it is, for me is nitpicky. You know, a lot of my, a lot of my concerns are nitpicky, but. Um, but that being said, like this movie's a roller coaster. Like, you know, I mean, yeah. it's like nitpicking uh, Fast and the Furious almost at a certain point. Because, mm-hmm. like, who cares? Yeah, they do a very good job of like setting up these scenes. Like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I, there's gonna be ass kicking, but like, I don't know how he's gonna get out of this. Like, does that mean threw? <laughs> I let the Brian's hit the floor, but like, 
So many Bryans. So many Bryans. Those Bryans were huge. They were some really some big those, boys. Some of those dudes were huge. <laughs> also, fun fact we learned, Ian McShane's really short. <laughs> Because there was so many scenes with Ian McShane, and they really didn't go out of their way to, like, fit. Because sometimes they Apple Box stuff, you know? But, like, in this movie, they did not. And I was like, I didn't realize, uh, what's it, the, uh, Lance Reddick? Yeah. Uh, Silence, who recently passed away, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is his last movie. Um, God, I literally could listen to that dude read a phone book. Yes, uh, uh, yep. But... I, I was like, I didn't realize just how friggin' tall that guy is, and he's pretty tall. But because I, I was like, he was walking next to Ian McShane, and I was like, I was like, what, dude? That guy, that guy's huge. And I was like, no, Ian McShane is five seven. But I was like, oh, he's, he's like a little, really little dude. But like in every scene, I was like, yo, Ian McShane's itty bitty. He's a little guy, but he's so intimidating. He's very intimidating. His spirit, his spirit is like he's like six foot tall. You know what I mean? Like he's like Wednesday. You know, from mm-hmm. American Gods. Like he is. Like, you know, he has such a huge presence that I'm like, oh, but he's so little. This is in my pocket. So go see this movie. Well, you're probably going to want to see it a couple times. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just, just so much. You might, your brain might get oversaturated with all the action. Mine kind of did. Possibly, but goo. Goo. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, definitely go see it. And next week, Jay is, I mean, this week was fantastic. And I'm, I, I love this movie. But also next week is Dungeons and Dragons, I'm and everyone's also been like, everyone's like, guys, this movie too. Yeah. So, yeah, we get a lot of good films. You know, my favorite part of the movie was what was that? Uh, when I made, do you do you notice that when I made the dude next to us laugh? Oh, <laughs> yes. No, I, I don't remember. It's I, when I, he I, fell out of the third story building and like fell off of the and like fell on the van. And I finally was like, okay, <laughs> I think he's been through enough. <laughs> like, I think he's done, maybe done. Like, maybe we do a little bit of sneaking to where we need to go from here on out, not just, like, barrel through. Uh, but he fell, and then it was like, boom, doodle doom, boom, and I go, Ford Tough. <laughs> yes! There was yeah, a little, guy, little guitar, guy, a little sorry. western feel to it. Doodle doom, boom, John Wick is Ford Tough. And the guy she laughed, and I was like, yes. Yes! You got him! I was like, cool. <laughs> that one was for free, bud. Yeah. <laughs> that one was for free! <laughs> Uh, well, have you guys seen this movie? Let us know in the comments below. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this. We probably are at this point. But guys, we make so many things. We make a ton of stuff for you guys every week. Um, check out um, our check out all of our links below. We have our Patreon there. If you want to watch any of our full watch-alongs, literally every anything we've ever put up on YouTube, plus some bonus stuff because mm-hmm. the Animaniacs hate our guts. Mm-hmm. Uh, check out that link. Um, hey, if you just like hanging out with us and just want to jibber-jab with us uh, for longer, check out our podcast, Fix It, uh, where every week we take a piece of pop culture and we fix it. Uh, uh, this we're actually just about to go record Warcraft, and I have got I've got I've got a lot to say. Yes, he does. <laughs> Do you want to hear Jay talk about WoW for close to ninety minutes? I, and I can. He, he, and he, I can, he, he, guys. And he has. <laughs> <laughs> um, check check out the link to there. Uh, if you want to uh, watch us play uh, video games, like and, and get spooky scared, there's preview gaming. We're playing Resident Evil Four next week on yeah. stream. If you honestly go sub to that right now because we're going to be streaming Resident Evil Four like a, a good amount next week, uh, and you will want to hang out for that. It's going to be really really fun. Uh, also check out uh, my personal streams where we where the majority of our Discord hangs out. Also just join the Discord. Oh, the yeah. Discord's down there too. If you want to hang out with uh, positive uh, nerd energy, we got it in spades, baby. We got it in spades. But before you do, please hit uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra. You, you, you just flamethrower, shotgun wielding users, you. I can't stop thinking about that. No, it's so good. It just was like... It, because this has never been done before. Because they're clearly not getting they're not getting shot for real, but they went, man, it sure looks the like moment, they are. The moment they went above the wall line, you could feel everyone in the audience go, oh. Like you could feel everyone lean in. It was And then uh, we start shooting people twice with it. Not just once. He double taps with the shotgun. Really got lit on fire. <sighs> I can't, I can't hey, it's better than falling down an escalator, that's <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, other video is popping up right. Goosh, banana, goosh, banana. Goosh. <laughs> Please watch this. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.